we may have flipped the calendar to June, but there are still people who are trying to recover from the severe storms that devastated parts of our area back in May. We have been hearing from some of you who tell us you've been waiting for weeks with no answers about your disaster recovery money coming in from FEMA. ABC 13's Rosie Wynn brought you your questions to them and joins us live now from the newsroom with some answers. Rosie? We understand how frustrating this is for many of you. Part of the problem here is there are at least two agencies that are involved in disaster relief assistance. One is FEMA and the other one is the Texas Health and Human Services Commission. When we tried to reach out, we also got the runaround. The more I work in this house, the more the disasters come and just beat me up. Sandra Edwards doesn't know how much longer she can keep making repairs to her home in Houston's Fifth Ward. She says Hurricane Harvey gutted her house, forcing her to rebuild a few years ago. Now she's dealing with cracks in her walls, and her roof is slowly caving in after the derecho event ripped through the Houston area back on May 16th. I have nothing. No food, no money, no just what do I do? What do I do? I'm living off people, and I know I'm getting on their nerves, but it, it, they, they understand my situation. Edwards applied weeks ago for financial assistance from FEMA, but says she hasn't received a response and is still waiting for an inspector to come look at her house. She says they are providing her with temporary lodging in the meantime. In a statement to ABC 13, a spokesperson for the federal agency says, quote, FEMA assistance requires verification of the specific unmet need. Each application is reviewed on a case by case basis to determine what type of assistance is needed to support the survivor. Mirdu got on the wall. The same storm left Jennifer Chanel without power for four days in Channel View. She says she lost all of her food and now she's dealing with water damage in her walls. When that storm came, I had, you know, little to nothing. I had to put everything, you know, in a bucket. So now I'm just, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul and it's like it's hard right now. Chanel says she was approved by FEMA for the minimum benefit amount of $750, but was told that the Texas Health and Human Services Commission is the agency that needs to distribute the money. She says she'll wait hours on their hotline with no answer. In a statement from the state agency, a spokesperson wrote, quote, HHSC is working diligently to distribute funds to FEMA approved disaster survivors. While we are answering calls as quickly and efficiently as we can, wait times may be higher than usual as our staff handles the increased volume of calls. Now, we are still working to find out what people like Chanel are supposed to do when it comes with dealing with the state. Meanwhile, if you are still waiting on FEMA, they tell me chances are there is something missing from your application. There may be documents that you still need to submit, or maybe you inadvertently missed a follow-up phone call from them since they typically call from an unlisted number. We'll have more information on how you can check the status of your application on our website at abc13.com.